Okay, we are going to demystify the subnets. We're going to make it very simple. We're going to make it easy to do. This first video will cover subnets of equal size, and then we'll we will have another video that goes over creating subnets of unequal sizes. We're breaking this down to three simple steps. Our first step is going to be to calculate the total number of addresses. How do we do that? Well, we can take t being our total number of addresses, and we can say, okay, t will be 2 raised to the power of 32 minus our net mask. Now, if you remember, our net mask is going to be the 21 that's in red at the end of that. So we're going to create four subnets of equal size with the IP address and our net mask. There's our formula. T equals 2 to the 32 minus 21. That gives us 2 to the 11th. So we have a total of 2,048 total number of addresses. So what do we do next? We take that number that we got, T, 2,048, and divide that number into groups. Each group must be a power of 2, and all groups added together must be less than or equal to the number of total addresses that we have. So what does that mean? Well. In our example of creating four subnets of equal size, we have 2,048 total. How many groups can we make? Well, we want four groups. If we take 2,048 and divide it by four, we come up with our G, or our group, of 512. First, we need to say, OK, is 512 a power of two? In this case, yes, it is. Our next thing says, well, is it less than or equal to our total number of addresses, which is 2,048? It divides in evenly, so it is equal to it. We can use this. So we now have four groups of 512 addresses. Step three says we're going to take the logarithm of the total number of addresses divided by the number of addresses in each group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That sounds complicated. It's really not. So let's go with our example again. We have our total number of addresses, T, is 2,048. In one single group, we have 512 addresses. Now we need to come up with P, our prefix. We don't know what that is. So we're going to say P is going to be equal to 21. Where do we get the 21? Well, that is the original net mass that we had, plus the logarithm of 2 of t divided by g, or 21 plus the logarithm of 2048 divided by 512. We already know that it goes in evenly, and we get 4. Well, how do we figure it out from there? What is the logarithm of log 2, 4? Well, it's very, very simple. The only thing you need to remember on this is you just need to look at the 2, and you say, what number can I raise 2 to the power of that will give me 4? Think about that for a second. If that was an 8, I would raise 2 to the power of 3 to get 8. So my answer would be 3 there. The answer is 2. Log 2 of 4 is 2. I raise 2 to the power of 2 to get 4. Plug that in, and I say 21 plus 2 is 23. The starting address is now 128.42.0.0 slash 23. And that is the first starting address of our four subnets that we have now created. Let's start an example. An organization is granted the block of 211.17.180.0 with net mask of 24, and the administrator wants to create 30 subnets. Our first thing we're going to do, step one, figure out our total number of subnets. So that's T for total number of subnets is 2 to the 32 minus 24, or T to the power of 8, which is 256. Our second step is to find G, or our individual group. 
We know we need 30 subnets, so we'll take 256 and we'll divide it by 30. We get 8.5, which is not an even number. We say, well, 8.5 is a decimal and it's not a power of 2. What do I do with it? You simply go down to the next number that is a power of 2. In this case, it's 8. You don't want to go up, but you want to go down. So we have 8 in a group. Our next thing we need to figure out is going to be our P or our prefix. We need that prefix for our subnet because our starting address is going to be 211.17.180.0. That's not our first usable address, that's going to be our network address. So we take 24 and we add that to the logarithm of 2 to the 256 divided by 8. This is why it's important. 256 must divide evenly by the number that you're giving it. I'll say that again. The total number of addresses must divide evenly by the number of addresses in the group. That is why they must be a power of 2. When we divide this one, we get 32. It divides evenly. So we say 24 plus the log 2 of 32. And log 2 of 32 simply is what number can I raise to 2 to the power of to get me 32? Well, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So 24 plus 5 is 29. That is our first address or our starting address or our network address of this subnet. 211.17.180.1. Forward slash 29. I hope this explains a lot to you on how to figure out subnets when you are dividing into an equal number of groups.